The cosmopolitan character I select is Jenny Longping. She has many titles: a former Chinese volleyball player, a former head coach of the United States women's national volleyball team, and the current head coach of a China women's national volleyball team. She was nicknamed as Iron Hammer because of her powerful specs. She has been considered as a national hero since she was selected as MVP in the California Olympic Games in 1984. But she is not only national; she is also international. She earns respect and recognition in America, Italy, and in many other countries. As a national icon and a legendary figure recognized by every Chinese, she was not restricted by narrow-minded nationalism or patriotism. Instead, at the prime time of her career, she went to the University of New Mexico to pursue master degree in sports management. She wants to learn different languages and cultures, and seek to exchange valuable techniques. And she worked as an assistant coach in the university team for seven years in America. In 1993, she gave birth to a daughter in California, who grows up in America. In 1995, after China national team's bleak performance for several years, Long. Went to back to China and became the head coach of the Chinese national team, and eventually guided the squad to the silver medal at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, and second place at the 1998 World Championships in Japan. In 1999, she took a head coach position in the Italian Professional Volleyball League, winning the league championship and the Coach of the Year award multiple times. In 2005, Long became the head coach of the U.S. national team. Her American players were unaware of her fame until they took a trip to China in 2005. Long's photo was on a huge billboard inside the arena where they played. A group of Chinese fans waved an American flag and chanted Long's name. But there were also controversial voices in China. Some criticized her as traitor, saying she shouldn't coach opponents. But she said, "I will always be Chinese, even though I wear another country's colors." She never regrets her decision to coach foreign teams. In 2008 Olympics, where the U.S. team faced off with the China team in Beijing. Long displayed her professionalism and cosmopolitanism. She was concentrated and comfortable in coaching American team. And finally, she led American team to defeat China and won a silver medal in the 29th Olympic Games in Beijing. She said. Level play and universal sports spirit is more important on the court. In 2009, when her home country invited her to come back and expressed a strong wish to have her as head coach of a national team again, she shouldered the responsibility without any complaint. When she has been over 50 years old, in 2014, she was the only female head coach among the 24 teams in the FIVB World Championship. In 2015, China women's volleyball team won the World Cup in Japan. On August 21, 2016, Long Ping guided the Chinese national team to the gold medal at 2016 Rio Olympics. Jenny Long Ping is a true cosmopolitan. Her cosmopolitanism lies in her inclusiveness and respect of different cultures, and her open-mindedness to explore and reach out to other cultures and countries. She made a contribution beyond her own country borders.
She admits she compromised the cultural differences and changed in some way by different cultures, but her Chinese identity has been planted firmly. In an interview, when she was asked, Coach Lang, as the coach of the American women's volleyball team, do you feel that you changed American players, or has American players changed you? Lang Ping said, "The differences in culture meant that it's very different to coach an American team from a Chinese team. The Americans think that I have injected many more." Asian factors, such as being more subtle in the tactics and more rigorous in the style, but I think I have learned a lot from American players. So I have been changed more by、uh, American culture. American players are usually well educated and they learn very fast. I respect their way of thinking, facing problems. The American girls are very relaxed. And the fact that they played volleyball out of personal interest has affected me. I feel more relaxed as well. They seem to enjoy the richness of life fully, and volleyball is not all they dream about. At first, I didn't understand their mindset. I kept pushing them to play every second, as if exercise must end in victory. As an outsider entering a different sports culture. I wanted to change them to play my way at first, but very soon I realized I had to learn to understand them. Gradually, I have been changed by them. Today, I can appreciate their relaxed attitude. The dialogue with Long Ping conveys critical messages of being a true cosmopolitan and brings inspiration to us educators. Our common values about the family, sports spirit, and love for home country can serve as foundation for our appreciation and understanding of other different cultures. True cosmopolitans don't insist on reaching agreements based on different values and beliefs, but they do advocate maintaining uniqueness and richness of our cultures. They do advocate respect and appreciation of different cultures. If we don't seek for understanding differences, we may not understand the differences. Then we may fear what we don't understand, which is the main reason of conflicts, hatred, and division between tribes, nations, and countries. With cosmopolitan views, we can be citizens of the world. <laughs>